peripheral blood flame we see the morphology of the red blood cell and it is become hypochromic and microcytic hypochromic due to deficiency of the iron ultimately causes decreased synthesis of the hemoglobin so this is a chrome chrome means color so the color is decreased and hypo means decreased so this is hypochromic microcytic the cell size is decreased so micro means small macro means large microcytic anemia this is so this is called hypochromic microcytic anemia and this is, and this condition is occurs due to deficiency of the iron and the causes of this deficiency are deficient intake growing children female of reproductive age during menstruation pregnancy parturition lactation these are the causes of iron deficiency another causes are chronic blood loss like as hookworm infection bleeding peptic ulcer that means peptic ulcer disease for a uh, long term it will cause dec uh, decrease uh, increase loss of blood from our body in chronically and ultimately causes iron deficiency anemia hemorrhoids there is also loss of blood through our anus during defecation so this is a very important cause hemorrhoids long time a person when a person is uh, uh, affected hemorrhoids for a long term the patient is also suffering from iron deficiency anemia carcinoma of the colon chronic aspirin intake due to chronic aspirin intake or nsaid that means non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs it will also cause it peptic ulcer disease and also esophageal varices due to esophageal varices there is loss of blood through hematomesis that means vomitus that containing blood we called it hemato hematomesis in this condition blood is losses from our body and ultimately iron is losses from our body and it will causes iron deficiency anemia iron overload so we discussed about iron deficiency or loss of iron now we discussed about iron overload some condition that causes iron overload that means increase concentration of iron in various tissues of our body iron overload hemosiderosis and hemochromatosis hemosiderosis iron overload without associated tissue injury this is hemosiderosis and hemochromatosis iron overload with tissue injury one important thing is that the free iron is very 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 dangerous from our body so this free iron will ultimately causes formation of free radical and this free radical will damage our tissue so iron overload is also a very very dangerous condition from our body mainly the thalassemia patient in where the life span of rbc is very short there is breakdown of rbc huge amount of iron is stored in the liver and spleen and ultimately causes hepatomegaly and splenomegaly in these causes iron overload is occurs and this is life threatening for a thalassemia patient or the patient who receive excessive amount of blood transfusion also suffer this iron overload understand okay now we discuss about iodine body iodine content is 45 to 50 mg and the distribution of the iodine is mainly thyroid gland 10 to 15 mg muscle and other tissue daily requirement is 150 to 100 microgram per day due to this is a micro minerals the source of this iodine is iodinated salt sea fish cereals vegetables mainly we find this iodine is from iodinated salt function is synthesis of thyroid hormone 
triiodothyronine tetraiodothyronine so for formation of thyroid hormone iodine is too much necessary absorption ingested iodine converted iodide and absorbs in joint extracellular fluid iodine pool metabolism uptake of iodine from extracellular fluid thyroid gland take up 150 microgram of iodide from extracellular fluid 75 microgram is oxidized to iodine and join thyroid iodine pool remaining 40 microgram leaks back to extracellular fluid fate of hormonal iodine released from thyroid pool out of 75 microgram hormonal iodine released from thyroid pool each day 60 microgram is metabolized in different tissues releasing iodide that returns to extracellular fluid iodide pool for reuse so there is no loss of iodine that is reused rest 50 microgram is excreted through fecal route very small amount 15 microgram is excreted through fecal route that means with stool excretion mainly through urine and am some amount with feces and now we discuss about iodine deficiency so what are the disease is occurs due to iodine deficiency myxedema that means syndrome of adult hypothyroidism syndrome of adult hypothyroidism why we called it hypothyroidism that means decreased synthesis of thyroid hormone in the thyroid gland due to deficiency of the iodine and when it is occurs in an adult adult person this is called myxedema now cretinism this is children since birth or fetal life when there is iodine deficiency occurs during birth that means children since birth that means when the fetus is uh, into the mother's womb if the if mother uh, intake uh, not intake uh, proper amount of iodine through her diet there must be iodine deficiency occurs so this iodine deficiency ultimately affected her child and causes cretinism and uh, the third one is iodine deficiency goiter okay thank you uh, our discussion about mineral is completed micro mineral micro mineral all of you please elaborately uh, read uh, these minerals from your textbook that means from shottonarayan and living courts you read it please don't waste your valuable time due to exams must occurs in scheduled time okay thank you all of you